We were so close to getting our hands back on the Division Resurgence in Beta Phase 2, but unfortunately we have received some bad news regarding the beta, and in this video we're going to go over what just happened, and without wasting any time, let's get into it. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, my name is Dan and in this video I want to bring you a quick update for the Division Resurgence Beta Phase 2. I was meant to make this video a couple days ago but I've got it here for you now. And unfortunately it is not great news as it has been confirmed that the Beta Phase 2 has been delayed. But the reason for this is a bit weird, but let's just get into what they had to say. So this was brought to my attention over on Twitter, or X if you will, and the dev team posted the following. We have welcomed over 60k players in our latest test phase, providing a massive amount of valuable feedback. As we continue to work with the game towards launch, we will be delaying the next phase originally planned for August 8th find more details here and at the bottom of the post was a link to an article and I will leave a link in the description down below and the article said the following thank you for your feedback agent during the first phase of our regional beta we were thrilled to get a huge amount of feedback from the players based on this feedback and our in-depth analysis of the regional beta we concluded that the game could use some refinement to become even better at phase two that is why for phase 2 we want to offer the following updates to the players. Improve the tutorial, we want to make sure new players understand all the depths of the gameplay experience. Improve player progression balancing, we want to make sure that the progression mechanics are fair and rewarding for all of our players. Raise exposition to more social features, the division resurgence is a social experience and we want to make sure players get access to those features to truly enjoy the game with their friends. More features to come, we want to give a regional beta players the opportunity to test features that were originally planned for launch. Stay tuned for phase 2 dates, implementing these fixes and new features will require some additional time, which is why we have made the decision to delay phase 2 of the regional beta originally planned for August 8th. This being said, we are confident that with these changes, the next phase will deliver an even better experience for our fans and we can't wait to have you play the game again. Stay tuned for updates on new content and new test phases. Now I have to say I'm really gutted that this has been delayed and we didn't even get a revised date to mark in our calendars. But fear not because as soon as we get any updates on a revised date for the beta phase 2 I will be letting you know right here on this channel. So do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates. And if you are enjoying this video do give us a thumbs up as it really does help the channel out. And it helps us find more mobile gamers and more division fans out there. And now back to the video. Now from someone who has been playing the betas, I have to say I didn't find any issues with the tutorial or some of the aforementioned issues, however I do see why they're going to make some of these adjustments to the tutorial for example, and that is for people who are completely new to the Division franchise, and this will help give new people a better understanding of how to use weapon mods, gears and things like that. Now for the likes of me and you who have experienced the Division games, we have an understanding of how the game works and know what to expect and how to to use the gear and mods to a certain extent. Now for the other reasons I do think some of it is just general adjustments and some good housekeeping to improve the overall experience and to ensure a good global release when it comes around and hopefully the adjustments will be worth the extra weight. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me or do you think there are other reasons for the delay? Now let's not forget that the Division Heartland has quietly gone into beta and you can find out all you need to know about it in the video you can see on your screen right now. 